If you and an alien could do any activity, what would it be? And why? Here we go. Is my face oily as <laughs> Probably. Uh, I don't know. You don't know. I can, I can filter it up left. You can? Um, mine probably. Yeah. Whenever I go to edit the okay. video. Because my, can... I feel like my face is oily as Mine probably is too, to be honest with you. I feel like I'm right. freaking like spotlight here. <laughs> shining I know. Back. Got like a spotlight. <laughs> Just shining back. <laughs> this is so awesome. I'm so excited. All right. Dude, this is dope. This is a dope setup, <laughs> this bro. Is good job, bro. Thanks, bro. This isn't even like AWTV, this is like a whole new thing. Yeah, We're starting dude. fresh right now. Straight up. Alright everybody, well, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to start this. What's up everybody, this is The Core, a uh, new talk show brought to you by AWTV. What are you this thinking? Is episode you thinking? 1. Episode, episode one. 1. This is the pilot. And if also. you like it, this is something totally different from his channel, yep. um, where we just sit down, talk, and bullshit. Basically, yeah. So basically, yeah, this is a new episode, a new diversity of AWTV. It's, we're still going to be doing vlogs, we're still going to be doing all the fun stuff you love, but we're, in addition we're going to have talk shows just like this all around the globe. Probably just in Virginia, but all around the globe. <laughs> but also, if you want us, well, if you want us to talk about a certain thing, yes. um, have him as, well, have a certain guest on here, there's a freaking, there is, what is that? I don't know. It's gone now. Okay. Have a certain guest on here, Gene, whatever. Um, just let us know in the comments. Yeah. Always comment. Let me know. I mean, any special things you want us to talk about, any like controversies or whatever we can talk about, give our opinions, give our insight. Also, as Rob said, any special guests. So this is, it's kind of like a podcast, but video form of a podcast. And we're going to be real with you. This is, this show is going to non, be non-filter, non-filter. It's going to be the realest show you've ever seen. Fun, entertaining. It's just gonna be us, no editing, basically. So, cheers, the first show. Cheers, bro. Let's get it. All right, so, how's our day been so far? Productive. Our day has been pretty productive. Uh, it's been a crazy day. I don't know if you can see our sunburns. Crazy, like, it's bad. Like, it's solo cut bad. Um, we, uh, so, I woke up at <laughs> Thankfully. Thankfully, we woke thank, up this thank morning. Thank the Lord. Uh, got my daughter ready, Ava. He, he texted me saying, hey, I'm going to be over around 11, 15, 11, 30. It's like, cool. I'm cooking breakfast. Made some bomb Do you, do you want anything? Do you want anything? He was like, I'll take some bacon, man. I was like, cool. That's literally what happened. <laughs> America. If you don't like bacon, you are not an American. You're like Canadian, you like Canadian bacon, or whatever it's called. Ham. Ham. Basically. It's Canadian split. bacon's ham. It is. Basically. But, uh, yeah, he came over, yep. got some bacon, yep. and then we left. Well, oh, Hannah. Hannah. Yeah. Hannah. Shout out to Hannah. Showed up. She was supposed to be here tonight, but, you know. It was late. She, uh, she had a bedtime. She dipped, yeah. <laughs> she had a bedtime. So yeah, then uh, the plan was today we were going to go down to the Rappahannock River where we did a tubing session before, uh, went tubing for a little while. We vlogged, so we did vlog. that video will be coming out when, Austin? Eventually. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, eventually it'll be coming out. Uh, so yeah, we vlogged the entire day. It was a really fun day. We um, got there just pretty much the same as last time. Um, but we, we did some new tricks this time. We did do some new tricks. There, we had a rope, and a lot of us got hurt. <laughs> Shout out to Hannah again. <laughs> Shout out to Hannah. And uh, myself almost got my fingers chopped off. <laughs> Shout out to Hannah uh, again. <laughs> yeah. We, we, all, we all got injuries of some sort. I got a knee injury, two back injuries, a lost shoe. A lost shoe. So, you get this. So, just like last time, we were jumping off the cliffs into the water. You know, it's fun. And so I, I hit the bottom on one of them, and there was a rock. I slid my leg against the rock on accident, and then the rock just slipped the back of my shoe off, and I went, like, with one shoe for the, uh, a while. And I was like, all right, screw it. I'm just not going to wear any shoes. So I never got back to the car the first time, put my shoe in the car, we went again. Bad idea because the rocks, to, walking on to rocks. The, to to, the, That's start, an injury to the start point. 
Hannah and I were right next to each other walking, and we looked behind. Austin's like 15 feet back <laughs> because he's like struggling more to like, walk on rocks. More like, like 50 feet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a pretty pretty crazy day, and uh, met some pretty crazy people who were also jumping off the rocks. They were not quite all there. They might have had a little hangover or something from. They said it was a crazy morning, so it must have been a crazier night. Don't know. And, and one of them was yelling, I peed in the river, I peed in the river. <laughs> Me too, bro. But pretty crazy stuff right there. Yeah. So, vlog will be coming out soon. Don't want to miss that. Um, also, I just want to take a moment to say that Erlari, my clothing company, round three is coming out August 31st. You don't want to miss it. It is amazing. I should actually go get a t-shirt and a sweatshirt right now that you, that you see it. Oh, I apologize. Oh, you're good. You're good. Um, so I might actually do that later in the episode. You can see a sneak peek of that. Like the sweatshirt is literally the softest thing I've ever felt in my life. I also, kid you not. Easter egg. When uh, Austin was wearing the shirt, but he didn't want to show you what what it is behind. In the beginning of the video, yeah, <laughs> he turned around so you could see what it is on the back of the shirt. When I said that at the end of the video, I didn't realize that. And I texted I him that. He did text me. He was like, dude, I saw the back of the shirt. You don't have to hide it. <laughs> so, might uh, if you stay till the end, I might show you the sneak peek of that. Next topic, I guess. There's a new trend going around. It is called Number Neighbor. So Never num- heard of it. Number Neighbor. Lots of like celebrities and well, honestly, a lot of people on Twitter are mostly are doing it. I don't have Twitter. But it's basically, it's Sorry, basically you, uh, <laughs> he has Instagram though. Um, Instagram and Facebook, that's all I have. Yeah. Snapchat and Twitter. No, they have so many social media now. There's like, a lot. I'm sorry, like, for, I'm sure everybody's busy, but I don't have time to look at five, six different social medias. Uh, I have barely have enough time to check two, like. Yeah. It's a lot, really. It's hard to keep up with everything and everybody. All right, so example of number neighbor. So basically what it is, is you you take your phone number. Oh, That's awkward. All right. Well, this is the pilot episode, so if things go wrong, then... Uh, oh, I can't. Hey, just click the screen. How are we looking? Oh, shit. The light's back on. I wanted to see it without the light. Oh. But I'm sorry. sure it was fine. It's all good. Sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. We'll try and move some more. Um, so you take your phone number. And the last digit, you either go up or down, and you text that person. It's your phone number, neighbor. And, like, you just have a conversation with them and become their best friend, basically. So, like, for example, here, this person's like, hey, neighbor, neighbor, how are you doing? Like, they don't know each other. It's just that, uh, you know. That's weird as fuck. So I was thinking, I don't know if I should do that. Should I, should I do it on, on the first episode of the core? Why not? And let's move on and see if it could detect, get a text message. I think we should do it just because it's the core and you know, though, I'm, I kind of don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Wait, how do you do it? It's a random number? No, you take your you take your phone number, type type your phone number in like you're going to text yourself, but then change the last number to the number above it or below it. Okay. Yeah. So, w- wait, I have a different area code. We are in Virginia. Mine is a uh, 504 area code, New Orleans, holler. Um, but when I moved here, it's a 540 area code. So I have a 504, but it's a 540. Just just point that out there. It's weird. I bet. All right, so, All right, so should I do a 504 area code, or should I do a 540 area code? 504. My, like New Orleans? Yeah, okay. your exact number, just a different last number. Like up or down from your number. So one of the All people right. just whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna do both of them. <laughs> Boy, here we go. Alright, so uh Hey number neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. You ready? Should I just write that? Yep, I'm gonna write Hi number thing. neighbor. Okay. Alright. Oh, Rob sent? I sent. Alright. Oh wait. Block, block oh, yeah, my we'll number. number out. That's proof. We did it. Number neighbor. Dude, look at that thing in my house. <laughs> Dude, that is a big ass bug. I, I know. He just ate that small one. <laughs> I think it's a wasp. But it stays like over there. His house is up in the corner there. Anyway. That's big as fuck. We're outside. Things happen. 
So it's 9.04 at night. Don't know if our people are going to text us back. All right, I, I'm sorry. I texted um, my number neighbor. One up and one down. So yeah, Rob's going it, increase, it increases my chances of getting a text message. Dude, I've never heard of this before. but <laughs> I probably got some guy who's like 90 years old who's like, what is a number neighbor? Although I guess you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know what a number neighbor was either. No, no offense. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You're welcome, dude. <laughs> Sip that tea. All right, so new segment. Not really new. It's never been done before, but uh, segment is top in the news. So we're going to go to Google right now, and we're going to see what's in the news. Google, top thing. I don't really want to talk about any of these things, to be honest. <laughs> uh, here, what about this? Here, okay. All right, NASA aims to put first woman on the moon by 2024. That's like in surprised. five years. It is in five years. I'm surprised that hasn't happened first yet. First woman? Already. Wait, wasn't there a woman? Wasn't there a woman a astronaut? I'm pretty sure there was. I but guess, didn't land on the moon. But I guess like, they never went to the moon, yeah. Went to, this, went to space, but never land on the moon. Yeah. Let's see what this article says here about that. So NASA Administrator Jim... Whatever. Said on Friday <laughs> that the Marshall Space Flight Jim Center in Alabama serves the headquarters to put astronauts male and female back on the moon by 2024 okay so the goal is to be back to the moon by 2024 male and female they're just including female this time i guess instead of okay. male like it was before well neil uh, armstrong was the first man on earth for all those people <laughs> like that school. didn't know <laughs> you're welcome it's like school now oh uh, and then the brinstein whatever made the announcement of a enough Bernstein made the announcement in front of a test version of the 149-foot hydrogen tank for the Space Launch System rocket, which will launch the astronauts on their journey in 2024. So they showed what the, what the rocket's going to look like already, I guess. It's five years away. Why don't you do it next year? Make it 2020. Well, they had to have built the rocket already. Yeah. And in, in that five years, they would test drive it. Well, test flight it, I guess you could say. Yeah. You know, to make sure everything is copacetic, essentially. Yeah, it makes sense. It I mean, it should be. I mean, they don't want to have any, any, um, like the Apollos, like, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. unfortunately, you get, you get to test it rest out in before. peace, you know, yeah. but boom, like, as a takeoff, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. It's always good to test out things, like, with the scientific experiment. Can I talk? <laughs> the scientific. I don't even know what I was gonna say. Scientific method. Number neighbor. Oh, shout out! I have some things on Wish. If you have a child, <laughs> I mean not on Wish. On in. Let go. Oh. As, if you if you have anything if you have a child. Check it out. You know, selling a dirt cheap. Or better offer, obviously. So just let me know. There you go. Sorry. Bro, sell, sell your stuff. No, no. This is what this show's about. Let things go. <laughs> Random as <laughs> but you know. Let's, let's check. No. Nope. Nothing back from my number neighbor yet. Rob hasn't gotten anything back. I'm not sure I'm okay. Let me check the light. It's gonna be still. Looks good. Looks oh, dope. Alright, we'll see if it uh, can stay off. Actually, I like this, the, the lighting without that. Yeah, me too, actually. Next next topic here, okay. So, about a couple weeks ago, we went on a road trip to D.C., okay? With Gene. <laughs> with I Gene. don't know. Wait, did you well, post we, that video? We didn't do it the other day. Oh, we didn't. We didn't. Do it we didn't. <laughs> but, so, uh, so uh, it was Austin, Gene... Uh, myself and my daughter. Yeah. We, us three, not, Gene, Gene, Gene lives, lives up, there. up there. Okay. So us three, including my daughter, drove all the way up there to see, him. to see, you know, our best friend Gene. Of course. And, uh, fun time. Yeah. Went to the mall. 
had, had some good meals. Went to Shake Shack, okay? <laughs> Let me talk about this. Shake Shack is the best place to get a burger or fries, anything really. I would have tried it. And however, they do serve alcohol. Shake Shack. Fast food. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> mind blown, right? But Gene forced this guy to get some like Thai. He didn't force Chinese me. pepper food. Or this whatever. late, <laughs> one of the one of the workers came up to me and free chicken. I tried it. I was like, oh, shit. yeah, I'm gonna have this this place right here. And what do you know? It's Cajun like cuisine or something like that. And it was good as. F it was good as. F not too much spice. Well, I like spicy food because I'm from New Orleans, but from a Virginian, <laughs> too much spice. Oh no, it's too spicy. Well, this wasn't that much spice. Okay, regardless, it was good. Regardless, it was good. Shake Shack was better. He didn't try it, so <laughs> you're right there. And then you didn't try Shake Shack, though. To be however, fair. however. Who threw up that night? Oh, you're right. It um, was the food, bro. It was the food. <laughs> so, so yeah, that night I uh, we got home, got to bed late, and I woke up at four in the clock in the morning. Threw up <laughs> bad. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't good, but I only threw up once. I mean, it was over by that time, so I mean, it was fine after that. But, but from that trip. We have some photos that I took on the way there and on the way back. So this guy right yeah. here, this guy falls so asleep. So I fall asleep every time any, in the car, anywhere, <laughs> anytime. If I'm tired, look, look. Right. When you have a child, fall asleep. When you have a child, you 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 gotta take what you get, bro. <laughs> in a in a car, sleep. What is there else to do? Nothing. I can't smoke a cigarette because my daughter's in the car. I'm not going to ask this dude to pull over just to smoke a cigarette, so I'm asleep. And a plane, okay, I can't smoke a cigarette anymore, so I gotta, what do I do? I sleep. On a boat, if I'm going somewhere, I sleep. What okay. boat do you go on? <laughs> oh, okay. Break down, <laughs> yeah. alright? In New Orleans? Oh, okay, New Orleans. Well, deep in Louisiana, in the swamps all right it, it takes a while to get to where you're going a fishing spot or whatever you are doing that day okay alligator whatever it takes a while you sleep at that point okay you sleep in the car there you sleep on the boat until your spot and then you're 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 revved up like i'm ready to go all right do your sh pack your sh up on the ride back you sleep again. You get home, do your sh put your <laughs> child to bed, you're good to go. And then you cook do it the sh Do it again you, the next day. Again. Like, you gotta pick and choose your battles, okay? Pick and choose your battles. And that that doesn't go for just that, alright? This was a battle that goes lost. for That goes for everything, okay? But you do need to sleep wherever you you get the chance to. Point taken. Right. For all those Let's kids see. out there, comment. And do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? <laughs> Come on. I can't be the only one here. I mean, Ava falls asleep in the car all the time, too, so. Yeah, but I that's see, my child. I see where she gets it. <laughs> she, she, got, she got it from me. So. She gets everything from you, almost. What was that thing we were talking about tonight? She got it from you? Eating her vegetables. That's right. That's my right. daughter. All right. T tonight. I, I picked up... Well, you, you were there. <laughs> I, was, I was there. She, right. she ate a lot, though. She didn't eat a lot. She was stuffing it in her mouth. And... Let me show you the video I'm doing, actually. Did you? You <laughs> took a video? <laughs> she was stuffing it in her mouth. 2% went in her mouth. <laughs> the rest went on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Yep, that's that's my daughter right there. You just grabbed hands full of handfuls and just shoves it right in. You were there. I had I set up vegetables, rice, and pork the first first go round. The first go round. Mm. Okay. She chooses her vegetables first. 
just like her father, like, loves vegetables. I eat salads all the time. Like, you gotta stay healthy, y'all. Gotta stay healthy. Eats that shit up first. I already knew this, so I already warmed up another batch of vegetables. When she's done the vegetables, dump her more vegetables. She eats that again. And then she moves on to the rice and then moves on to the pork and whatever. Well, the second go around, I didn't give her vegetables. I stuck with the uh, pasta that I already cooked. Pasta and uh, some lemon pepper chicken. Boom. She ate that all. When I picked her up, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> what I'm talking about. Right? It's I not even exaggerating. Camera. It was like wads of There's food a... just on her lap. <laughs> and then on the floor. His, do his dog. Luckily, his I had a dog. Luna. My vacuum. Sweeped it up. Like, clean floor, straight across. Now, parents, if you do watch this channel, I don't know how you do it if you don't have a dog. Do you pick that shit up off the floor? You just leave it there? No, they don't leave it there. But, <laughs> like. So they pick it up off the floor. Basically, yeah. It, a dog is your 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 child's vacuum, like straight up. Get a dog. No cats. Long story short, eat your vegetables. Get a dog. <laughs> Essentially. All right, next photo we have here of Gene. This dude. All right, so we were in Hollister for a little while. He was DC. trying. He was trying on shirts left and right. I mean, Should he, I get it? I don't know. Should I get it? No. He fell in no, love with this no, shirt. No. I was but like, dude, Gene. Decide not to get it. He was like, dude, I, I look so good in it. I was like, dude, get it. Get it. He's like, he's like, would this be a good club shirt? I'm like, I was like, I don't know what clubs you go to, bro. <laughs> like, yeah? Probably not the same clubs that uh, you were at. No. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what the taste is in that community. Neither do I. <laughs> but I'm not hating it. I no, just that's no. not a part of my lifestyle yeah, yeah. you know I don't know that why is a great Gene, photo Gene wasn't in this photo I don't know why it's a family portrait basically but he just doesn't like to have his photo taken so it wasn't it was the light awesome. it wasn't the light the the right lighting <laughs> you're right he has to have the right lighting and everything like it all has to be like spot on like he he'll be like this get in the photo when get, he's like in the photo the whole, <laughs> like when his face is in the fucking photo, like the whole thing. Let's say Gene is Ava right here. This is what the picture's gonna turn out like. <laughs> Get in the photo. Get in the photo. Get in the Our photo. Are half cut out. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. I'm gonna find a few examples and post them. When and the, that's why video. he has in like 1,200 likes on. Oh my gosh. Instagram Maybe. and shit like this. Like, he posted this one photo. Shout out to Gene. I don't know how you do it. I'm impressed. Awesome to you, dude. But let me let me pull this up for a second here. This guy on Instagram, okay. He posted this photo, got 1,340 1, likes. I'm like, bro, why aren't you like shouting me out, giving me <laughs> giving me some pointers, giving me some followers, some subscribers, not like, even some like that, come like. On. What's also, up with the, the women that you talk to are What's up like, with the ladies, bro? And then he won't even, like... He's like, oh, yeah. They're not good is, for you, bro. Yeah, they're not good for you. They're not good for you, <laughs> Every bro. Every girl isn't good for us, apparently. <laughs> We're too good for them. Yeah, let's switch it around. We'll say that. We're too good for them. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Last photo. Fell asleep on the way back now. <laughs> okay, so let me, let me put this into perspective here, okay? I'm driving down I-95, okay? Ava's already, my daughter's already in the back seat. Yeah, she's knocked, knocked. out already. She's knocked. I mean, you wouldn't know because you were knocked out. Huh? You wouldn't know because you were knocked out, but yeah. No, I fell asleep yeah. because she was falling asleep. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. fall asleep if she was up, but if she's sleeping, best believe I'm I'm done too. Like, I'm going to take advantage of that shit. About every, <laughs> about every mile, I see this guy like slumping a little bit more, a little bit more. About 30 miles into the drive, his feet are up on the dash like <laughs> this. <laughs> As you can see in the photo, I mean, you can't see his feet because I'm like, I'm trying to take the picture. I'm driving. I'm like this trying to take a photo without Don't trying to wake us, him bro. up. Don't kill us, yeah, bro. So. 
I sacrificed the feet in the picture for our lives. Probably a good choice. But yeah. Let's oh, eat. we're back on, y'all. Let's tea. <laughs> Sorry to Dang. get all like depressed and. Sh Three. Dang. Let's uh. Yeah, that's dude. Rough for Life's him. a bitch. Yeah. And then you die. <laughs> I mean, from the second you're born, you're dying it constantly. You ever huh? thought about that? <laughs> what? <laughs> from the second you're born, you're constantly dying. That's a fact. It is. You know what I just you know what I thought of the other day too? So my birthday was a couple days ago. I turned twenty two. <laughs> you, <know Holla. laughs> you know what I thought the other day? I was like So I'm twenty two and like my life's the quarter of the way over. <laughs> like next it double it, forty four, sixty six, eighty eight, and my life's over. I'm a quarter of the way through my life. I was like, wow. Well, I'm that, all depressed now. <laughs> if that just says if you die at 88, though. Well, yeah, true. I could have to be and like, this guy doesn't smoke. He barely drinks. Like, well, I wouldn't even say he drinks. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, you're good. Yeah. If I live, if I, well, I'm four years older than him, but if I outlive you, I would be shot, bro. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. <laughs> Straight up. If I if I live you, I don't know, man. I don't know. We could. It'd be like, one. Of, it'd be a, a theme at your funeral. Be like, I thought I lived them. The, the things going through my mind right now. We could go so deep, but later tonight I'm gonna write that in my notes, and we could have an entire video on that subject. But we're not gonna go into that right now. Number neighbor. Oh shoot! You got one? No way! <laughs> oh oh man, look at that! Shoot! I wonder if this is a girl. <laughs> Are but you a girl? To, to say what's pop, huh? dude. Just imagine, like, if you like meet your significant other as number neighbor. How'd y'all meet? Oh, I texted a random like, number, like, and we just hit it off. I know, right? <laughs> it's actually crazy to think about. It's like you could like just text a random number. And just like start talking to them, having a good conversation, and then. However, literally ne however, where did you ever hear, like, all right, if the priest asks, where'd y'all meet? I texted oh, the random number. You've never heard that before. No. Or yeah. you've never heard Tinder. Oh, I, I yeah. met her on Tinder. No. Yeah. No. I met her on Match. Well, maybe, but like. Come on. Right. Yeah. I don't know. There's a few things you've never heard before. Alright, so I said, hey, what's up? I beat you to it. Haha. Ha. What's your name? We're going to see what happens right here. They even have the red recipients on. Boom, look at that. And by, uh, I'm going to tell them we're filming a video of the core. And I'm subscribed to AWTV, so. <laughs> Number neighbor, if you are out there watching this video right now, I'm texting you right now. This is a lit. Thank you so much for texting me back if you're watching this video. Wow. This is actually awesome. I really hope you're a nice person and we could be friends. Alright, so while that person texts me back, we're going to talk about a huge subject, probably the main subject of this episode. Area 51. The raid is coming September 20th. Oh, please. The raid is not coming. You don't think so? No. So you don't think no. there's going to be anybody there? No. Because if there is anyone there... And they charge the gates, they will fucking mow you down. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Yes. Like, I believe they will because, so that's what I wanted to talk about was. Because it's the government. It's they government are properties. literally protecting a secret. So they will fucking mow you down yeah. and not give a fuck about your life. It's either your life or the secret. Yeah. So. Bye. That's what I'm thinking. Bye. Because like, I don't think that over a million people is going to go. I really don't, but I feel like there is going to be a few thousand people who actually try and do it. Like some crazy people who just don't care really about much. Yeah, so I feel like there is going to be a few thousand people who go, but that's the thing. Like, I don't think people realize, like, that's government property. And it, I thought about it for a while, like, would people, would they actually shoot them down? But, yeah. like, the more I think about it, I'm like, they will probably mow will. you down, like, bro. If they see you coming, they will just. Oh, I saw shoot him as a threat. Everybody. 
I saw him as a threat, you know? You know? But, like, I don't even think they need to make that excuse because if somebody's trying to go on the government property, like, even if somebody tries to rush the White House, I feel they like... They'll mow you down. They'll mow you down. Like, so, however many people's plan on going, which I feel like there will be, like, that's going to be a significant event in history. Like, if it actually happens. Think about... What? Uh, the, like, the government murder? murdering thousands of people. Because they, wanna, they, they will not put that on news. No way. They will hide that shit. I don't know. Straight up, they will hide but that people shit. People are going to be, like, Snapchatting it and, like, taking videos and... Okay. There's probably going to be All YouTubers right. that go... Area 51. Alright. Hear me out. They have a road that goes to Area 51. How many people, oh, accidentally took a wrong turn, go down the road and be like, uh, no trespassing, whatever. Alright. They either die... Or they turn back because they have to. I have never yeah. heard of somebody go down Area 51 Road and talk about it. Well, there's probably signs. Because, like, I know that I saw an article or something that said, that, like, they have guards set up. Like, Area 51 is, like, an 18-mile radius place. Right. Where, like, they have guards. They have gates. Different places, like, so you can't even get within miles of, like, the actual right, place. Right, but they have to have a road that goes to it. Yeah, yeah. But, like, the guards will stop them before they get to the gate to yeah. see what was going on. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. If you go any further, they'll mow you down. If not, then you yeah. turn back and go, oh, shit, I'm going the wrong way, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's, that's crazy to think about, like... I, I honestly feel like it's, it's something's going to happen. And it's going to be crazy. Happen, dude. But we're going we're gonna to make a video... On Area 51. Everybody's all talk, dude. Straight up. Oh, man. <laughs> Area 51, right. no one's going to be there. All right. Straight up. No one's going to be there. Do you want to lose your life? Because that's literally what's going to happen. You're going to lose your life that day. You you will. Honestly, you will. Um, but I also saw that the, the maker of this Area 51 is turning this into a music festival, I want to say. Like, there's going to be an Area 51 music festival. Um, that ain't going to happen. But, like, it's, it's, it's not, like, at the at the actual place. It's just, like, a little bit outside. It looks like fucking doomsday. Straight up. <laughs> Bunch of zombies. <laughs> Area 51 meets You'll Woodstock. Alien stock. Alien stock. This is Woodstock. This is Woodstock. Legend immortalized films like Independence Day. Take Independence course, Day. No the original Independence Day, not the new one, but the one back in like, I think it was the 2000s. Okay. They uh, had, a, had a vision of what, a, what aliens look like. Okay. And just so everyone knows that all movies have a vision of what aliens look like. Where did they get this vision from? Yeah. The government. Okay. That's a big topic, just too. Th just throwing it out there. All right. So, they have an idea of what aliens look like. I believe, personally, that they have aliens in Area 51 where they're hiding just so no one knows what they look like and things like that. That goes viral, you know, because it will go viral, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, you got to keep that shit a secret. You do. But, so, like, the question about, like, how they look comes to play also because we have this envision that an alien has, like, two feet, some, like, antennas or whatever, like, the eyes are on the antennas or something like that. I'm not really sure what, but... Not an, not an Independence Day. Well, yeah, okay. But, like, some, like, it looks like a, a human. Creep, yeah, 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 yeah. But an alien, it could be, we may not even be able to see aliens. Like, they could be so small, or they could be, like, ghosts in a way. Like, not actually the ghosts, but, like, invisible to us, the human the human eye. You don't know what an alien looks like, you know? But people, no offense, but people have an idea. But nobody's ever seen an alien, per se. So nobody now, actually knows what an alien actually looks like. people have seen an alien... An alien can't. Could, an alien could look like a cop. Essentially. 
Huh? And maybe it could look like a cup. I don't believe that, bro. I, I don't either, but I'm just saying, like, or an alien could look like a plant. I mean, it, we don't know what aliens look like until we physically see one, you know? On this area, 51 As a has person. Them. Yeah. You as a person will envision an alien because the mind is, like, out there. Your mind is out there. Yeah. Um, to in, in, interpret what you think an alien work, looks like. And that's what I think the government wants as well. For everybody to interpret what they think an alien looks like, okay? But I think on some movies, it's accurate as to a T because someone knows what an alien looks like. They obviously made land here on Earth. Come on, like... If you don't believe me, then watch Austin's channel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just saying, like, just rambling. All right, so but, we have a couple of fun questions here. Uh, number one, what is the first thing you say when you see the first when you see your first alien? What's the first thing that comes out of your mouth when you see an alien? Welcome to Earth. Welcome oh, to Earth. I've been here before. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> All right. If you and an alien could do any activity, what would it be, and why? Oh, sh they're they're a far better species. I mean, they're gonna be better at everything than us. So you're gonna take them to like a bar. You're gonna take them to putt putt golf. Like, here's a beer. Try it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You know, like I don't know. Like, okay, boom. Alien pops in that chair right there. What happens? What are we gonna do? What are you gonna do? You <laughs> want a beer? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, this is not a beer. I right, water. <laughs> he is water right now. <laughs> Foaming water. Yeah, people, people, <laughs> people believe that. <laughs> it's sparkling water flavored. <laughs> hey. Right. I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, like, what would you say if a fucking alien popped in that chair right there? Everything's okay. <laughs> uh, come on the side of the court. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'd probably just be like, what are you? What is your name? And why are you here? <laughs> I don't know. That was kind of a lame answer. but Maybe they don't even speak English. Exactly, too. You, you, you want them to look like Star Wars shit. Like, uh... uh Chewbacca. Chewbacca, yeah. Maybe he speaks Chewbacca. Maybe... Chewbacca. They're like do sign know. language. Or they can just read each other's minds. That's a possibility too. Dude. Do you think that there will be a invention in the future where people, humans can read each other's minds? Like some kind of form of technology where like... this can, Drugs. I can point this to you and it'll be like, this is what you're thinking. Drugs. What if they already have that though? Drugs. <laughs> Because, okay, so at, at my job, a couple months ago, I would say it was, um, there was a bunch of army guys who came and checked out way late at night. And I was talking, he works at a uh, grocery store. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and I uh, I was talking to the one guy, and he was he was talking about, like, the, the uh, inventions and stuff that the army has that, like, aren't out to the public. He said they have, like, goggles that they wear. They can see through multiple walls. But it's just crazy what like we can think that other other things can do, other species, animals, uh, aliens. What the future holds for technology, you know. It's, it's already insane. it already blows my mind. Growing up, we had no technology. When if you want to talk on the phone, you had to wrap a cord, and hopefully, good, your parents weren't in the fucking room. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, come come over. Is Amanda there? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, be all secretive, like, hey, um. Hopefully your parents didn't pick up the other line and can hear you, like. I remember that, too. Straight, wow. uh. We're going, like, way back. Dude, yeah. that was way back, bro. Really, if you think that was only, like, ten years ago. No, it was, like, twenty years ago. No, because I remember I did that in, like, elementary school. With, like with the phone on the cord? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We have we still have a phone on the cord. 
Yeah, but your parents are old school, bro. Yeah. <laughs> shout, shout out. I love your parents. <laughs> and then when technology came about, where I uh, I got, well, my parents got a, uh, a phone. It was always in the kitchen. That didn't have a cord. It was um, uh, a portable phone, I guess you could say. Okay, yeah. But it didn't have a cord, so I can I can grab it, walk to the to my room, and talk to the girl I was talking to at the time. And the only thing I had to worry about was somebody else picking up the other line and listening in. But that's the only thing I had to worry about. But now everybody's yeah. I could be honest with you, like I'm not I'm not really a big phone person. I'm a, I'm a texter. Like every time Gene calls me. I'm like, dang, I, I feel like whenever somebody calls me, I have to take more time out of what I'm doing or, like, at work. Like, at work, I can just send you a quick text back. Like, I gotta wait for it to ring a couple times because he never picks up the first time. And then he finally picks up and then we're on the phone for 20 minutes, you know. Like, I'm at work, I gotta get back to work or whatever, but... Well, that's why you call somebody to check in on someone. Yeah, you know? yeah. How you doing, bro? You know? Yeah. It's... On and on and on, you <laughs> yeah. know. Like, it is what uh, it, it is. What it is. That's old school. Comment in the section. Do y'all remember that time? Yeah. Do y'all remember that time? Like, you had to talk on the phone with a cord. There was no cell phones. There was well, if you had a cell phone, it was a fucking brick. Like, <laughs> question of the week for you guys. So, what is the craziest story time that you remember where you had to use like a corded phone? Like some kind of old school phone, not a cell phone. And like, what's the craziest story you have about that time? Like if your parents picked up the other line at some time or like that just too, a crazy man. story. Comment down below, DM us, let us know what uh, what the crazy stories are. Love to hear them. Love to hear them. Well, my number neighbor is not texting me back yet. I'll, get, I'll keep you updated on that one in the future. But uh, got anything else to say for this episode? Core episode number one, the pilot, has been completed. How did y'all like it? How did you like it? Comment below. Let us know what you want us to change, do different. Help us uh, grow this talk this show. This channel. This will be a regular talk show. Yeah. Um, again, not replacing any vlogs or anything, just um, adding to it. Adding to it, you know. Uh -huh. Like bringing you more behind the scenes talk show kind of look, get our opinions on stuff. Uh, just some fun time with that. So. Let us know what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of. Again, anybody who wants to come on, any suggestions, topics, let us know for sure. Let me know. Um, if you want to see us eat while talking to you, <laughs> like people do, like I don't, that's weird. We could have done that. <laughs> that's a weird. As fuck. We could have had something to eat today. Uh, no, but people eat <laughs> while you're talking, like they're talking to the vlog. A mukbang. Like, what is it called? Mukbang. A muk mukbang. Bang. That's weird, bro. I've done one of those before. Did Back you? in like January, I think it was, I did one. That's weird. It was kind of weird. I, I don't know. You're eating and then talking to a camera. Basically eating with your mouth full. Where's <laughs> the discipline? I know, right? <laughs> you don't chew with your mouth open. You don't talk with your mouth You don't open. mukbang. You're full. Go get it. Show the camera. You get it. All right. I'll be right back. He'll be right back, y'all. As I eat some cake. Dude, the Cake. Full time. Austin's birthday. Hey, so we are back with a little bit of birthday cake. Uh, finishing this stuff off, man. Mmm. Why don't your mom Good give stuff. me a little fork? I got a little fork too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm a child. As, as, I, as I promised at the beginning of the video, a Lori collection round three is coming out August 31st. Here we got the t-shirt right here. That's the front. It says Alari. Intergalactic. Intergalactic round three. And it's galaxy. purple. It, it's essentially a galaxy, but it's purple and uh, yellow. So in the back, different view of the galaxies with a three, rumor numeral three in the middle and a Lori collection down the center. Pretty sick. Up right here. What, now, Austin, tell the people. What does the three mean? Round three. Round three. Round three. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know what happened to round two or two, one or two, but it's round three already. They came in two. What? 
Alright. And as I promised, the sweatshirt is the exact same design. This material is so soft. Like, dude, this this guy felt it, he passed out. It's literally It's really soft. It's literally the softest stuff you've ever I'm not felt even gonna lie. Know. It's really it's soft. soft. So go ahead and check that out when it comes out. August thirty first. Don't miss it guys. On the website. I'm eating some of Austin's birthday cake. But it's really soft. I should buy some. Like me. <laughs> what, this cake? Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought you were talking about this. This cake is from Wegmans? Yeah. Is it really? Uh huh. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of the Core Pilot Edition. This is the pilot. Show's over, guys. I appreciate the view. Like and subscribe to the channel AWTV. New vlogs are coming soon as well. New shows of the core coming soon as well. Let us know all the information you want us to know. Peace out, guys. I will catch you next time. Thank you to Rob for being here today. Peace out. Meow. <laughs>